and they actually released the photos to her. She had to pay. They released the photos, and she got them. Uh, and you can just imagine, based on the description of the way that little boy was killed, what those photos looked like. Zav Girl then proceeded to post them on her Patreon account, which is an account attached to her YouTube page, and she charged her followers money to see the autopsy photos. For $3, you could see little Gannon's body. She was making money off of that little boy's autopsy photos. Autopsy photos of a, a severely beaten to death little boy, really they just, just got no place on the internet. It was hard enough for the jury to have to look at them. But for this YouTuber to go to all that trouble to request them, to pay the money, to get them from the government, and not only post them, but then to charge people to see them. I mean, I just find it sick. And I question, you know, has, has Zav Girl ever even been in a courtroom or interviewed a grieving family? That's my issue with some of these YouTubers that cause problems. They hide behind their computers. They don't even use their real names. Like in this case, we don't even know who Zav Girl really is. Uh, and if you're so proud of your page, I don't know why people don't just use their real name. And this isn't some video game or TV show you're playing on your computer. You know, th this is a real family's life. This morning, Zav Girl, she got a lot of heat for this. She posted a statement on her YouTube page about the controversy. Uh, it was deleted. It's back up now. I screen grabbed it. This is part of it. She wrote, the reality of the situation is that different people feel, feel differently about this. Some people are genuine, genuinely think making a video, including the autopsy photos, is bad, and I respect their opinion and feelings. Other people, like myself, think of autopsy photos and the coroner discussing, explaining, interesting, and informative are all, all able to view it in a more scientific, detached way. Well, Zav Girl, there is nothing detached about posting the autopsy photos of an 11-year-old little boy, and then, on top of it, which I really think pushes it over the line, charging money for people to see them. It, it is sick, it's deranged, and you should just own up to it. Whoever you are, wherever you live, uh, maybe get out from behind your computer screen, go to the local courthouse, and actually sit through a murder trial and see what it's like for the families in real life. Not on YouTube, not sitting behind your computer and thinking about clicks, uh, but actually go to the courthouse and see what these families actually have to deal with, and then think about how it might feel for them after having to see those photos in the courtroom, to then have, have them plastered all over the internet and then be trying to charge people money uh, to view them so you can get rich off of it. Um, it it's just awful. I want to bring in District Attorney Michael Allen, who served as the lead prosecutor uh, on Little Gannon's case. Thank you for being with us, Michael. You were the lead prosecutor. You had to go through that whole trial. Um, I, I can't even imagine, like this just got me so mad thinking about Gannon's family. Um, I know they're aware of this. I mean, how are they processing all of this? Well, thanks for having me on to talk about this first off. Uh, we reached out to the family members and, and had discussions with them about this, just letting them know that one, it's happening and sort of what they can do potentially to combat this. But honestly, there's nothing they can do to get these photos down once they're on the internet. It's it's just completely disrespectful uh, to the family members that had have had to live through this horror. But even more so, it's... I mean, Gannon deserves so much more in life uh, from his stepmother, and he certainly uh, deserves dignity and respect in death. And, and there's nothing about what this YouTuber is doing, and, and I think there's another one out there as well that they're doing that provides any dignity or respect to Gannon. And the statement that they put out about this incident, uh, sort of justifying it, it just rings hollow. Mm. Other ways to do this. Uh, Scientifically, uh, they could have used body diagrams that the autopsy also included instead of putting the actual pictures of Gannon's just completely broken body uh, that reflects the depravity and horror that he had to live through and, and die at the hands of his stepmother that he had to suffer. It's just it's outright disgusting. And, and it just speaks to the lowest of, of human forms, in my opinion. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.